Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this short video, I'm going to show you how to neatly assemble your IKEA odd valve trestle legs. But yeah, well, the steps can be applied mostly to any trestle that you're trying to assemble. Let's begin. Uh, to start with, everything that you need for assembling your trestle legs will be in this same box. That is all the nuts, the screws, actually there are no nuts, the screws and the bolts and the actual planks, the legs. There are mainly two types of legs in this box. Um, there is one that is a wall with a groove and then there is another one with a wall that has a fixed silver washer. So your bolt comes in through the wall with the groove and you actually put in the washer that comes with the bolts. So you place the washer there and the bolt comes through that and on the other side that's where your silver washer goes. And the, the leg on the other side with the fixed silver washer, the silver washer is on the external so when you assemble it you should be able to see it on the other side it's not inside it's external the other mistake that uh, people usually make is trying to make the legs parallel uh, these legs are not supposed to be parallel once you start tightening the bolt the legs will start pushing out and that's the correct position they should be in so that's not really a problem once they start pushing out allow them to push out and assume the correct position so yeah, there you go and the other side you do the same thing the the leg that is a groove uh, is where you put in your washer and board and on the other side you will have facing outwards the leg that is the silver washer the fixed silver washer that is both washers are silver and also make sure you align correctly as you can see here I misaligned and the screw wasn't fitting so if once you align it you can you feel less resistance whilst you tighten the screw this one is a bit tricky uh, once you as, um, put together the middle piece the tricky part is attaching it to the main frame of the legs. So what you can do with that is try to line it, line up the walls and then just put in your screw halfway. Don't tighten it all the way until you have put the screws on uh, all four sides. And once you have done, once you have done that, you can then tighten all the screws. The reason you do this is so that you don't end up missing the holes or having to undo tightened screws. So there you go, leave it halfway, go to the other side, line it up. Once you feel the screw is lined up with the hole, put it in halfway, put, move on to the next one. Once all the screws are in place, you can then start tightening up and you can actually feel uh, it's easily, it easily goes in. So yeah, the main structure, actually the full structure of the leg is done at this point. It's quite strong. So oh, I always try to make use of everything that comes in the package. These little things, I don't know what you call them, but you put them, they sort of stick uh, to the screws that you have there. I think these are meant to protect your clothes in case fabric comes into contact with screws at the bottom of the trestle. Then there's these uh, brown stars. You just have to line them up at the bottom of the trestle legs and push them in a little bit. Uh, these will protect your trestle legs uh, once you start moving the table around and also protect the surface on which it's moving so there you go guys thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel like the video this is part of a series of videos that i'm making for my uh, new home office that i'm trying to set up thank you